it has magical powers. God, why do I do silly stuff? Because because it goes with math. Oh, I know because of that. Oh, that thing. Because it goes with math, and I hope after today. How does it kind of go with math? It does. Trust me. Okay, how many of you, show of hands, think off the top of your head, you know how many pints are in a gallon? Off the top of your head. I don't say. Six. Okay, two. Don't say. Okay, real quick, the hands down. How many of you, this is three questions, can say roughly that you know how many quarts are in a gallon? Roughly. You have a guess. So about a third of you. Wait, what? what was that? Okay. How many of you know, off the top of your head, already, how many fluid ounces are there in a cup? Eight. Uh, just, I hear right answers, I hear wrong answers. Eight. If you think you know, I'm not going to tell you right or wrong. Okay, about half. I know Erin knows. She helped me. Okay, so I'm going to start the lesson today with something that I think will help you remember measurements. Okay. And then we're going to use our ads and our rates and our ratios to figure out who's charging us too much and what's a better deal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do... Is in your math journal. We are going to recreate this beautiful art that Erin did for me that needs to be laminated. Because believe it or not, it's going to help you understand the math. So oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to tell a story that goes with the picture. Okay, hold on, right? Patience. Okay. In the kingdom of Gallon, they have four queens. Four queens. Quartz. Each queen has a prince and a princess. Each queen has a prince and a princess. Each prince and princess has two children. And each child has eight fowls, as in chickens, not basketball. Each child has eight fowls. See, this is chicken. I get it. Hey, now go to page 294 in your book and figure out what page or what part of 294 did I just tell you the story for? If you, if you got it. If you see on page 294, the correlation between something on that page and my story. How many of you got it? Just show of hands if you think you got the correlation. Text a picture. Hold on, I can see it. Everybody see it? Okay, what is the title of that section? Key concepts. Okay, the kingdom of gallon is the measurement of a gallon. Okay, gallon of milk. Now, when we have four queens, what do we have four of? Quarts. Quarts. So how many quarts are in one gallon? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Four quarts fit in a gallon. Now, think back to the story. Each queen has a prince and a princess. Or two princes or two princes. You pick. Prince and a princess. What, if I have a quart, is my queen, and she has two children, what is that measurement? A pint. It is a pint. So how many pints in one quart? Two. Two, because I have a prince and a princess. I have two children per queen. Now, each child, each prince and princess, has two children. What are the children? Cups. 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 So how many cups per pint? Four. Two. Nope. How many two. cups? Eight. There you Eight. go. Two. There are two cups per pint, but there are four per what, Melina? Gallon. No, four no, per. Four, wait, four cups per pound. No. No, think about four. I have four cups per quart. See how it fits in this? We're going to draw this in your journal. I get you. And 
I have eight towels per child. Okay, Nalina, say it louder. What is it? Fluid ounces. Fluid ounces. How do we get the funny name, Foul from Fluid Ounces? How do we abbreviate, think about it for a second, or look, how do we abbreviate Fluid Ounces? Full of. Okay. It's F L period O Z, which is awfully close. Let's see. To foul. F O W L. Not the basketball, the chicken version. I have the kingdom of a gallon. A huge G. Huge. You have two puppies? Yes. Join me. Erin's the only one that doesn't have to because she knows it well from spending what, a week on it. So a big G, because we've got to put lots of things in that G. Now, anybody remember how many queens rule the kingdom of Galilee? Very good. My kind of kingdom. All queens. One, two, three, four. They are inside the G for a reason. Mr. Olympia, why are the Q's inside the G? Hey, Sue, say that louder. Outstanding answer. Love it. Perfect. They go inside. You can put them right up on the edge. Now, each queen had a prince and a princess. Two princesses. Like crown. Okay. So they each had a prince and a princess. Hopefully, you can make this a little larger. I don't have the greatest of space here. Okay. 